Hey, this is Peyton from Voice Tutorial with a tutorial series on Ada, the programming language. Um, hopefully I can just deliver to you the useful basics and then from then on you'll have an understanding with which to uh, read everything else. And um, there are a multitude of uh, interfaces you can use to develop with Ada. Uh, you can go the command line route where you type everything in notepad and use a gnat make command. Um, I don't think anyone really wants to do that in the long term. Maybe once, just so you understand exactly what the IDE is doing for you, but um, practically you'd want to develop in an IDE. My favorite, personally, is GPS. It's uh, the GNAT Programming Studio, and I'll have a link to this page in the description. This is the download site for the Windows and uh, Linux operating system binaries and uh, if you're looking to use it on Mac OS X or something for them, there's plenty of unofficial binaries floating around for uns um, officially unsupported operating systems but uh, if, you're f if you're using a different op uh, IDE you'll just have to adapt some of the semantics when I modify like the project properties and stuff like that but you'll be able to follow along just fine and if uh, you're following the link that I put in the description, then uh, choose free software or academic development because for now it's academic. Later you can come back and choose this, but uh, for now just fill out that and then build your download package. And that'll bring you to a menu where you can select uh, all the downloads that you want to use. It provides a, a bunch of potential tools for ADA development. Um, for example, GTK ADA is a graphical user interface library if you're looking to uh, make a program for a user end. Um, notice up here there's a uh, drop down for the supported operating systems. There's actually more than I'm familiar with. Um, I don't know what a lot of these are. Uh, but uh, for Windows, choose Times 86 Windows, and for a Linux based operating system, choose one of these two. Um, if you know what these are, uh, take it at your discretion then. Um, the actual GPS is this download. This is the um, GPS and potentially if you're on another operating system you could build it from the sources. <laughs> Have fun with that one. Uh, and another useful library might be like I said GTK ADA but for now all you need is this. I'm just going to go over this stuff and if you continue with ADA development then you should revisit this page because there are uh, an array of useful tools here. Um, and then you can choose your bundle format, either tar or zip, and that'll contain all the stuff that you checked, and then you can download that. And once you've installed GNAT for your platform, then uh, open up, I mean, uh, op install GPS and open up GPS, and you'll have a splash screen similar to this one, and then a project wizard. And um, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to create a new project, and we'll do a single project for now. Um, in order to create a project and keep it organized anyway, you should create a directory for it because when you create a project, it doesn't actually make the directory for you. I coincidentally have a directory prepared for the Hello World program because uh, this isn't my first time recording this tutorial. And um, yeah, I want to overwrite it. Okay. So I've created my Hello World program and I will have an empty project. Imagine this doesn't have a plus, because yours, yours shouldn't have a plus. Um, uh, yeah, yours shouldn't have a plus. But this is going to be your sources, your sources folder, and this is going to be your compilation objects folder. Um, uh, pretend this main.adb thing wasn't here, and create a new file, and then just control S or um, file save if that shortcut doesn't apply to you and then um, name it uh, you should name it main.adb since I already have a main just pretend this is main and I'm gonna name it like main2 and then um, in order to make a compilation target for your project you'll need to go to project properties uh, main files and then add and um, you want to add the adb file that you just created um, to the main uh, main files and that'll make a compilation target 
and then notice that uh, this this appears this run main thing uh, button um, that's the shortcut for both building and then running um, all in one button and uh, this is going to function as your console when you're running the programs uh, this not not actually messages but there will be another tab that appears here for console and we'll get into actually creating the hello world program in the next episode this is just to get you guys set up with the, um, the tools for ADA development whatever you choose totally preference um, visit uh, SourceForge if you want uh, some more options for IDEs because there, there are a lot of um, just like independent parties developing ADA, uh, ADA IDEs because it's got a it's got a fairly supportive cult following, the language does. Um, I will see you guys next time, and then we will begin doing some stuff.